Welcome back, everyone. Only on News 5 would you see the story of a family vacation remembered for all the wrong reasons. Oh, yeah. 12-year-old Indiana girl contracting a rare flesh-eating disease. She got it at the beach in Destin a few weeks ago. News 5's Amber Grigley spoke with her mother, and tonight she shares her story, and what a story. Well, Roseanne, it's one of the worst nightmare. This mom just can't believe she's living. One minute, her baby girl is healthy and moving as normal. The next, she's in the hospital having multiple surgeries and fighting for her life. Now, we do want to warn you, some may find these pictures graphic. What was supposed to be a family fun vacation. Going in hopes to have a blast, um, enjoy the warm weather, um, the beach. Quickly turned for the worst. Monday, um, we wake up and um, start to get ready to begin our day. And Kylie wakes up and she has pain in her calf on her right leg. Assuming it may just be a Charlie horse, they went on about their day. The next day, Kylie's pain reached an unusual high, crippling her from walking. As they made their way back to Indianapolis, Brown called her doctor for an immediate appointment. They noticed that she's in extreme pain, but they can't really determine what it is that is um, going on. Doctors noticed a pocket of infection behind Kylie's knee, making her condition critical. Kylie was diagnosed with necrotizing physiitis, a very rare flesh-eating disease. They were taking her into emergency surgery to try and remove the infection from her leg. Um, and doing that, they were trying to save her leg. Um, but not only trying to save her leg, um, they were also trying to save her. Brown says she hopes her story resonates with parents to be careful this summer as you prepare for many beach field days. There are warning signs, but by the time that you're seeing the warning signs, um, it's already taken, it's running rampant in your body and it does damage very, very quickly. Kylie is now home. She tells me this was one of the most traumatic experiences ever. Right now, she cannot walk, but with several surgeries and months of therapy ahead of her, she hoped to get back on her feet as soon as possible. Now, her mom says she hurt herself on a skateboard prior to heading to vacation in Destin, and she believes that's how she contracted this disease. For now in the studio, Amber Grigley, WKRG News 5. According to the CDC, since 2010, there have been between 700 and 1,200 cases of necrotizing fasciitis every year in the U.S. A third of the people who contract the bacteria end up dying. Symptoms include a red or swollen area on the skin that spreads quickly, fever, and severe pain. The CDC says acting quickly is essential.